Hello everybody. I am here by myself. This is a third video in a row within three days. <laughs> so I'm here at the, the Sanford YMCA skate park, uh, but I'm not going to be riding in there. I'm going to use this trail just to practice on my seated riding. I have the seat. I uh, kind of scuffed it up a little bit just to give it some wear and some traction. And that seems to work out pretty well. But I was pretty inspired by my friend Victor in the last video. He was doing a lot of seated riding. We're going to use this video as a test bed <laughs> for the recent in motion update that was forced on me as well. You can go ahead and check out the video for that. And I don't know if you can even see the V11 while I'm talking. So, yeah. We're going to do this right now. Put the seat on. I have some Velcro on there. And to get that to stick really good on that seat, you want to put some like Gorilla Gray, Gorilla Glue spray on there. And that will stay on there. As you see right there, uh, so when you have the seat on, it does go up a little bit up to your thigh. So when you're mounting on the wheel, it's a little bit different uh, this time around. So we're going to just mount on this thing. mount on it you know what I mean I'm gonna try sitting in just a second let me turn around here okay okay so Victor did say he's he trying to get used to the transition All right, I'm back in the shot now so you said the transition is you know the hardest part for sitting. <clears throat> All right, so what I'm trying to do is attempt to show you my foot positioning. Um, so let me show you the foot positioning in the front when I'm standing up. So let's, let's mount. Okay, so I have my foot positioning at an angle and in the back, hopefully you can see it, is my heels are touching the wheel. I can kind of loosen it up a little bit if I want to and not be too close to the wheel, so that works. Okay, now when I'm ready to sit, I, I still stay at that uh, foot positioning. But what's gonna happen now is, let me bring the camera to the front. What I'm going to do now is kind of widen my stance a little bit, grab the wheel. You might have to do a twisty turn and you might see that the side pads are in the way a little bit. Now you can stay at this, you know, you can stay at this positioning on the wheel if you want, but it might be a little uncomfortable. Okay. So what I'm going to do, and this is what's working for me now is I'm going to bring my heels closer to the wheel and I'm going to start putting my weight in the back. I'm focusing on my heel, guys. Okay, and then stand up. And that's how we're going to, and that's how I'm doing it. You know, that's, that's how it feels good for me. Yes, so, so far the updates been good. Um, I haven't played around with any of the modes. The only thing that I'm in is the off-road mode and I believe I have all my pedal sensitivities up to 100 right now so that's what's going on with that all right so I'm on the main road kind of so what we're gonna do is attempt to s sit now okay so now I'm right and seated now Okay, here's a little bit of a turn here. Ah, okay, so that transition right, we're well, back at the school here where I first learned how to ride electric unicycles. Let's try to widen my stance a little bit. 
There we go. Hello, good morning. Little mini motorbike. All right, let's see if I can get a, a transition now. Good. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, guys, look, my legs are shaking. Look. All right, so we're at the end of the video. Thank you for watching this. <laughs> This video that was just kind of put together at the spur of the moment but yeah it was good to get some practice with the v11 uh for seated riding and i think my muscles were tensed i think they were too tensed and they were trying to overcompensate when i was doing a lot of the standing and sitting down and you know balancing on it while i was riding so i think that is the cause of the shaking in my muscles also in combination with those uh, knee pads that i have the the bands all bunched up together in the back of the the leg and i think it was cutting off circulation but anyways uh the update seems to have been doing well uh if you want to see that video where it forced itself on me uh, go ahead and check that one out but speaking of update we received another update on our v11 i received it while i was charging the wheel after this video which was pretty cool and <laughs> i accepted it right away it all has to do with battery safety you can see the information right here on the screen again thank you kindly for watching and i'll catch you all in the next one